And welcome back to Top Dogs. And today it's going to be a episode about upon our reflection of this year. Wow, guys. What a journey for season one. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, hi, everyone. I'm Stream Architect. <laughs> and I'm Fiction Boy. Hey, I just wanted to add ex expense to it. I wanted to add the question, and then I'll introduce ourselves. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't sure. I don't have to fall every part. And I'm everyone's favorite sinful wolf, Whiplash. <laughs> Did she say whip? <laughs> Sinful wolf. Wow. <laughs> oh, you're a demon dog, right? Succubus. I'm just an Arctic wolf. I don't know. I'm just uh, an Arctic wolf. Uh, okay. He's an Arctic wolf. white and gray. Wolf. Arctic wolf. Mm. But yes, anyways, this is our last episode for season one. And don't worry, guys, this is still a continuing podcast. There is going to be a season two. So I wanted to point out, uh, especially, you know, that we'll definitely be having a new episode, season two. And there will be a special surprise guest after New Year's. Yes. Also, be ready for uh, that. Actually, oh, yeah. we're going to have a few guests next year. Yeah, we have a few Ooh, coming yes. up, and we're and we didn't expect most of them. And by the way, I gotta get props to Stream for getting one guest. We're not gonna name who they are just yet, but props for him guess, doing we'll it. Say. I we will not. Give, say. I can I'll give a point. I could. I could say I've done a collab with them on my TikTok channel. So you'll have to go to my TikTok and figure it out where it is. Wow, I just did we'll a self say. promo. Wow, good job, myself. What the fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, self promo time. Follow my Twitch and TikTok, you know, if you want to. Uh it's uh 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 whatever. <laughs> I'm doing a giveaway. Two of the time is gonna come out, it's gonna <laughs> be <joking>. over. <laughs> but anyways, yes, uh for the next a couple of weeks oh actually three weeks technically, we will not be doing any episodes for the holidays because everybody wants to enjoy their time, you know, during the holidays and the new year, so have a spend time like with the family faster. and then after New Year's then you that's just the celebration of a good adult time. <laughs> <laughs> yes very much so and um oh. also stay up to date and to be notified of our return by following our twitter you know tiktok and subbing to our youtube channel but keep in mind if you do want to find out there is a we have a thing called a tree link which will also be in the description it will link have tree. all that information right, that's what i said link tree, link tree. no you said, you tree, said tree link, link. get it link right tree. Tree Link. I am getting it sounds right. like a. It sounds like a character in Legend of Zelda for some reason. <laughs> tree Link. It's a wooden. Tree a Link. Wooden version link of Tree. Link. Yeah, there is yeah, going to be that. a Link Tree in the in the description, which will have all that information in there. You can also be joining our Discord as well, along with our Telegram, that will also be in the Link Tree. There's also information about us, the podcasters, if you want to dive into more into what we do on our own separate social media content. That is say, also if good. you do want, and if you do want to join our community uh, Discord group or our Telegram group, we are pretty active in there. We do usually chat with everyone as much as we can. I like to drop in in the voice chat once in a while during the day, so feel free to join in. If you see us like me, Whiplash, or um, Fiction in the voice chat, just come talk to us. We're there because we're available. Don't feel bad yes, about like not joining. And I will say this, and it's just from a lot of meetings I've met with people who've been, like, a fan of mine and ours, like, the podcast itself. We're just people. We just say mm -hmm. stupid things and make funny videos. <laughs> We're not anyone special, trust us. We just like being, we just, we just like being out there. We just like making We're, people happy. We're yes, our main human goal. beings, just like you, though. So. Oh, not, don't oh, put us absolutely. on the pedestal. We're not, we're, not, we're not better than anyone. <laughs> we're just sharing experiences and having conversation. Exactly. How long have we been on? How long has this podcast been on the air? If you guys can take a rough estimate. In the May. Yes. So I know we're at episode 31 right now. 31? Yes, so that's 31 30? weeks. Yeah. In the May, oh. beginning of so June. Slightly less than a year, like uh, three-fifths of a year. Not bad. Three-fifths of a year. I joined, I joined in so, halfway through that year, so... I would say six and a half months, and we are already close to... Like, we're almost halfway there to a thousand subscribers. 
Yeah, you can only get better from on here. YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, but it matters okay. all across the board, honestly. Like, I don't really keep up but, with the <laughs> audio recording. But our like... TikTok, our TikTok just Blue. hit 4,000, so that's really good. Well, thank you guys a lot. We oh, guys. yes. We appreciate that, but that's also because we got to give hint to this guy and his little accident that he had to make on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't college. expect that to go so good. <laughs> The, I didn't you either. have no idea how many people they came up to me and they say like this is hilarious and then they send me like a link to the video I'm like oh god not another one and it actually got turned into a gif so I wish I could have been there for that one for Damn. Um, so you. we have a meme on our show oh god yeah yeah it is oh. official we're starting to be something <laughs> officially or just, we can only make more memes as we go on oh, oh, dude, who knows I what you'll say ideas. But that was oh, not what planned, I'll say. I'm pretty sure planned. I'll say some random sh honestly. Oh, sorry. I'm sure something will come out of my mouth that will be interesting. Hmm. You know, there could be a compilation of how many times we swear and, swear and then we just say sorry after. I don't know. Maybe so somebody would take the effort role. to I'm do Canadian. that. I'm Canadian. I'm the one that says sorry all the time. Yeah, you're just going back to the stereotype episode that we had last couple of weeks ago. I wasn't. Yeah, but I wasn't there. It's coming. I could just count the bleeps. Count the beeps. Yeah, that was a lot. Like, you <laughs> swore a lot on that episode. Oh my god, I listened to it twice. I wasn't there. I was like, how did that go? I'm like, oh my god, more, more. God damn it. <laughs> Poor <laughs> production team. No, like, the only uh, production like, team I'm that we have is Colton. Sailor. He's the one that's blurring them out. You're just blurring just like out the, the, uses. the profanity. Well, don't you like don't you like blurting out my profanity using the bleeding sound? No, he does yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, have a, you have a bleep. You have a sheep bleep. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, it's long I, too. Actually. To be fair, that's kind of reason. To be fair, that's kind of reason why I like doing it because I like the bleeding. <laughs> I like listening to the <laughs> well, podcast and idea. hearing them bat. So you're a sheep, and then you're a goose. You're a yeah. goose, right? Yes. I was the. You're the the I'm fish. The, you're the, the fish. I, to be the fair, though, fish. listening to your listening to your bleed, I love. I just love that sound. It's so it's an old meme now, but God, I love listening to it. I never knew a puffer fish could sound sexual. <laughs> the thing is, is that you know, every time that's I hear that, that every, <laughs> every time you hear the, that's not heaven. That's not a, <laughs> every time you hear the puffer fish, you know what I think of Andreas. <laughs> oh god, you're right. <laughs> you know, I purposely said uh, a, a a word, a uh, profanity word that <laughs> I meant to say that because I know if he blurs it out, that's why. I'm, and then you hear Andreas with it. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that's I can the still hear my family upstairs <laughs> above the living room. Yeah, we so All right. yeah. All right, yeah. let's go start. Let's okay. get started with the question before I, I'm, I was okay. going to go off topic again. No, that's fine. I mean, it's kind of a, <laughs> upon a year reflection. It's and it's more like a general, you know, thing. And so I'll I'll start out with the question so we can do this. So I'll ask, you know, what do you guys have plans for Christmas or the, or the holidays? Ooh, there we go. <sighs> Well, I guess I'm starting because you're looking at me. Um, <laughs> so yes. uh, for this year, I so our roommate finally sold her her half of the house and we bought it and we painted over the whole house and we're going to receive uh, my, uh, all the members of my family on my mother's side for Christmas. So my husband is going to cook a little something and today we just picked up our our German Shepherd puppy. His name is Jet. He should be able to show on the screen. I sent Colton a picture of him what he looks like. Yes, he is adorable. He's super calm and he's awesome. So it's going to be a good uh, way for him to socialize with people, get used to the fact there are people coming in the house. So yeah, for the, the holidays where I'm receiving my whole family to celebrate the fact that we're full owners of the house i've sent you pictures of like how it's coming along I'm really happy yeah about it. yeah yeah he got been spending two floppy weeks. years yeah. floppy years for a german shepherd uh how old is he so right now he's eight he's, weeks old so usually he's that's still a baby time. I saw a picture of him. I was like, "Oh my god, it's, 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 it can, how can <laughs> how can animals be so cute?" <laughs> 
<laughs> I know, right? So cute. And they're not even trying to be cute. No, no, they're, they're, they're just like, what the fuck? Why are these guys looking at me? Why are they petting me all the time? Just freaking leave me alone. Just get away from me. <laughs> yeah, but there are some dogs that just like the attention. Oh, yeah. They yeah do. Thunder my dog really like the attention. Yeah, Thunder was like that as well. Mm hmm. Mine is like, uh, if what you, about uh, you don't give him attention. Oh. Ooh, What's your plan for the holidays? Where do I start? So, for uh, Christmas Eve, I'm going to be spending the evening with my friends. We're having a friends, friends miss, as we call it. We're going to just give out gifts. We're going to have turkey, food, watch some movies, get drunk. Have a wonderful night, honestly, and I can't wait for that, which is next weekend, actually. I'm going to have so much fun with them. Sunday, though, uh, on Christmas Day, I will be spending time with family, actually, you know, Going with them, spending Christmas Day with them instead of with friends. But for New Year's Day, though, we'll say, uh, New Year's Eve and day, I'll be spending it with friends and just getting wasted, like completely mm. wasted. Like even a like even even an entire like what are they called? What are those fields called? Just just full of trash <laughs> landfills. I'll be more, more wasted than a landfill. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> what do you call those fields full of trash? Landfills. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah. But, <laughs> That's definitely. Yeah. I will say one year yeah. I did buy like fireworks. I will not do that again because it's expensive. I spent seven hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. When yes. uh, when on New Year's with me and I was like 18 and I was living with my dad at the time, uh, we, you know those Roman candlesticks? On yes, New so. Year's we sh we shot them because I did tell I remember mentioning this on the Jackass episode, and I remember mentioning on I was shooting Roman candles on on the holiday. Yes, and we were just pretending that we were wizards from Harry Potter. Yeah, but that's what that's that's the bleh, that's the most fun to do with Roman candles. I did that last year it's with the my most, friends too. It's also the most redneck thing you can do. Redneck and dangerous, Especially. but it's fun. <laughs> oh yeah, if you wanted to know dangerous, then you should have seen the the tube that we shot down. Um, but well, we had a fi we had a legal firework. Yes, it was a legal firework, and we shot it, but. The blast radius was so strong, it actually knocked one of the tubes over that was already having a, <gasps> a fuse lit, and it blew into our direction. Ooh. I, oh. I will say, Florida has some very strict laws on fireworks, but since I live directly next to the border of Alabama, there are literally three firework stores five miles after the Alabama border that sell the good shit, as we call it. <laughs> They sell the best, like, fireworks you could possibly buy. So, everyone, like, that lives in this vicinity of Florida will usually go up there during, like, July, like, the week of July 4th and New Year's Eve and just buy a crap ton of it. Because in Florida, mm, okay. there's, like, you can't really buy anything good. Like, you can buy, uh, like, firecrackers, like, Roman candles and just sparklers and, like, little small tube ones, but not anything good. I like big boom sticks, they call them. Big boom. <laughs> Yeah, that's what my say, that's what my that's what my partner calls me when I'm home. Of course, that's what my husband calls me in bed. Wait, wait, wait! No! <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry. That slipped out. Forget <laughs> that. How could okay. you? Sorry, how sorry. How, how could you be so sexual on you the show? You could have, you know, you could have just, you could have just added a little person. bit more. You could have just added a little bit one. more expense to your answer. But anyways, um, that's how. Dude, I'm sorry. If you're gonna... I'm like hyperactive right now. I'm excited. So many. So there's a few great yeah, things that are I, happening to yeah, me right you're... now. And I'm like, I have a good nickname on, for on. you. Wait, have... yeah, he's definitely excited about something. <laughs> I was gonna say I can give your no, I'll give your husband a new nickname for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Call me Mr. Boombastic, Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Also, I was gonna say one thing. Uh, well, there was one year. There was one New Year's Eve where uh, it was after Hurricane Sally came and hit where I lived at. My friend had like a load of 
like tree branches and just logs like in a pile and i mean like a pile not like a small like maybe four foot stack this was like 12 feet tall of just rubbish and tree limbs oh so i oh, wow. thought it'd be a good idea to dump so much gasoline on it and light it up and it went up just like it went <laughs> Like, <laughs> it didn't stay so like that for a good minute. <laughs> but the main the main problem was is this New Year's Eve it was kind of windy, so the tip of the flame of the fire pit or fire stack, if whatever you want to call it, was like tickling the roof of his house pretty much. Oh, <laughs> it didn't burn his house or anything. But we did have the fire department called because after we lit it up, we immediately started putting it out with water. As much as we could, <laughs> we were like, "No, we can't have this going on." <laughs> Very fun Ooh. night. But speaking of, but anyways, I don't know what you guys, if you guys consider Christmas, but I also consider Christmas like a second Thanksgiving. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of eating during that as well. So here's the thing: I'm from Canada. We don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. Plus, it's in October, not November. Uh, we don't really mm. celebrate Thanksgiving. For us, our moment to gather our families, to, like to put our families together and see each other and spend time, is actually during Christmas in Canada. So it, it's really cute because I, I'm streaming like Thanksgiving. A lot of people are saying like, "Hey, stream Happy Thanksgiving." I'm like, uh, "It's been a month You're not ago, American. and we don't really celebrate." But thank you. That's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> You're not American. I think people tend no, to forget I'm that. Not. Yeah, he's a okay. special baguette in Canada. Yes, I'm he's a, a slice baguette, of ham. Actually, no, slice of ham. <laughs> he's a slice of ham that was no. He's a slice of ham that was marinated in maple syrup. Yes, well, good answer. <laughs> oh, I just said slice of ham because technically Dude. that's what we call Canadian bacon here. You know we Have you know you... we marinate like ham and maple syrup, right? Yes, it's we do. So good, it's delicious. We do it all the time. Yeah. It's amazing. It is. And what the f is Canadian bacon? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I never heard of that either. Oh, you have Canadian bacon? I'm like, really? I don't even know okay, what that is. Okay, so okay, so Canadian bacon is is just ham. It's just a s slice of ham. That is literally it. Oh. <laughs> This is the most stupid thing ever. What the hell? Just call it ham. <laughs> I, I know, trust me. But that's what like that's what um breakfast place uses or uses as the, as the name ter terminology. Like if you get ham, you get like a big like slice of ham. If you get Canadian bacon, you just get a small piece of ham. That's that's what well, I consider it. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Toronto to do an embryo transfer with a surrogate mother, and we went to a restaurant to have, like, breakfast, and they had Montreal hash brown. And I'm like, I'm from Montreal, and I have no f***ing idea what hash browns, are, like, the Montreal beef hash browns are, because I've never seen them before. I'm like, sometimes I see things where people, they start, like, a food based on an area where the people from this area don't even know what it is. If it's considered, if it's considered a Montreal hash brown, is it, I guess it's more like a local thing. Or are you just saying like the entire city? That's a no. So they're making a meal based off a, a city, but when you go to that city, you don't see it anywhere. So it's not a specialty. So why the hell do you put that name on the menu if nobody knows about it? The only place that I know that hash browns is very popular. We don't say no, yeah. not even. It's like when you, you say like Canadian bacon, we just call it ham. If you I say mean, Canadian bacon to us, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so maybe there's fellow Canadians that know about it. <laughs> Personally, I don't. I'm probably stupid, so d just don't just ignore me. I'm just being a doofus. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we call ham ham too. It's just for some reason Canadian bacon became like a breakfast item, to say the least, for breakfast. I don't know why it exists. I, just just, I think that was more of an American term ham. that we gave. <laughs> I think that's more of an American yeah. thing, like labeling things. I, I don't think well, that's a American Canadian cheese. thing. It's that orange slice thing. American. I, I call that. I, take that back. <laughs> no, you take that back. Why do you like disgusting yellow-looking mustard slice, dude? Dude, I you like cheese in general. general. You put two slices of American look, cheese in it, it makes it extra creamy. I only like, so look, I only like mozzarella. All right, and that's the only cheese I like. I'm, I'm gonna put blue cheese in your Caesar salad. I That's will some good slap stuff right the you. <laughs> I hate blue cheese with a passion. <laughs> it makes so, me puke. 
Okay, we're drifting <laughs> off subject. We should come back. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we're no, drifting the whole topic massively. was uh, yeah, but the, I would say we're still on top of it because of the fact that yeah, we do eat a lot on Christmas. But you know, I can say it is well, true. normally, but I'll I'll add some I'll add to the topic at hand. So every we have a tradition when I was at uh, in Tennessee and. Uh, me and my dad would always come visit my grandmother on Christmas Day. We always would have a Christmas breakfast. And by the way, you probably love what she would make. And depending on how you like your eggs, do you like a particular way how you like your eggs? Do you like a uh, scrambled... Uh, flipped, or s- flipped or sunny side up? Sunny side up? And yeah, that's her favorite too. Then I put too. Tabasco on it because it's so good. Or sriracha sauce. Oh, she God. also, but since the, but we're on the top, like, uh, hash browns, that she also oh, makes her homemade God. hash browns. Uh, she has her own potatoes that she grows out in the, in, from the crops during the summer. And then, you know, she ga- she gathers them and she makes them for the holidays. And she she makes the homemade hash browns, just, you know, dicing it all. And uh, it's pretty good, very crispy and stuff like that. But she also makes her own homemade pancakes, but she doesn't get you any regular syrup. She gives you chocolate syrup. Ooh. It's, wait, wait. Chocolate syrup with the pancakes? Sounds like... Mm-hmm. Dude, Sounds like I need to pay your grandma a visit. Have you tried maple okay. syrup, chocolate <laughs> syrup, and then blueberries on top of pancakes? I'm delicious. To for. So. To be honest, I just I love chocolate chip pancakes. I I don't get them often because they're so diabetic, but God, they're so good. Yeah, you just take the the advantage that you have, like on during the holidays. Just visit my grandma, you know, the one that says I was hella gay on that on that one TikTok video. Oh, She'll make you some. Awesome. I want to meet her. Yeah, your mom is so cool. Or your grandmom. Actually, both grandma. mom and grandma is so cool. <laughs> so, it was, I need to do I a video you with my mother. Before, you said it was so, uh, <laughs> you said it was so unlike, it caught you off guard when you said you were hella gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it, it it was. That wasn't what she was supposed to say, but that's a topic for another time. I'll explain that whole thing because it that was, is yeah, one of my most popular videos. You were supposed to say I'm hella gay, but she's like, I still love you. <laughs> yeah, yes, it works in the way. What... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to actually. explain that context, so I just roll with it because it was just so authentic and stuff like that. But like I said, it's another topic for another day. We'll probably discuss that in another episode. But yes, on the topic at hand, uh, we do eat a lot on Christmas. It's a very southern thing to do, not only just in breakfast, but lunch and dinner. No, no, no. No, 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 it's not a southern thing. It's a worldwide thing to do. Oh, you have no idea. Everybody does it. It's not a southern thing. It's everyone. You have to to understand, we have enough to feed an entire, like, party of, like, 30 people in in the south. (laughs) We spend a lot of money on food. That's what I mean. Can't wait for cornbread. Yeah, that's cornbread. when we—that's—that's that's when in Canada we use a <laughs> ton of like maple syrup. We like cook ham and maple syrup. Yeah, it's. I will say this: right. you ever had cornbread cake with kids? I'm so sad. What? I've had. I love cornbread. Cornbread, no, cornbread is good. Cake. I had some in New York. I never had that. Oh, before. cornbread cake. Yes, I've had that. Oh God, that is. Oh, oh, this. Ah. Oh. That's something you probably haven't had stream. And if I ever see you one day, I'm going to have to make some for you. I love cornbread. I, I went to New York at some cornbread point. Cornbread and cake. And they... What's the difference? Oh, trust me. There's a difference. <laughs> it's, it's a lot better. It felt like cornbread cake. It got, bleh, cornbread cake. It was, it was, it felt like a piece of cake. It was really good, actually. I'm like, this is made with corn and it's that. That's sweet. I love it. <laughs> and corn, I think it's, it's cornmeal, but yes, cornbread cake though is sweeter. It uses brown sugar and it and a few other items that I won't get into right now. But if I ever see you, I'll make you some because mm, it's definitely hey. a southern thing. And, that's for sure. I still yes, have no idea what I want to do in the New Year's. I will. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what? What? First of all, you, Mister. Relax. You, I need a muzzle. <laughs> Don't touch my face. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! What the hell? <laughs> Damn it! Are you okay? <laughs> I fell off my chair. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he fell right in front of me. <laughs> Ow! My headset is all twisted. Ow! <laughs> he fell right in front of me. That. Stream was trying to go for the home run base, wasn't he? <gasps> Oh, I stupid. guess so, but he's... <laughs> he's going for the... Oh, no. 
I have no <laughs> idea why you reached out to touch my face. <laughs> I was like, get back, boy, and then all of a sudden I just see you collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I put, like, foam tiles all over my floor, so I didn't hurt myself. My headset, I'm just more... Oh, it's true. I got a Vive headset. They're f tough as tanks, man. I have I actually did a backflip with my zero gravity harness and my headset shot off and like went across the room hit the floor perfectly fine i'm still using it right now and there's like mm -hmm. nothing on it vive stuff they're not the most top spec equipment in vr headsets but they're resilient man they're really tough i gotta give them credit for that microphones oh, i'm not yeah. using their microphone but um they're good <laughs> for that but as long as everything about the index i gotta say the most importantly as... thing but the most important thing that we do have to say is that as long as he's okay and good health and didn't oh, break fine. anything no 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 i didn't hurt yeah him. as long as you're good i'm okay i I'm think your pride might be a little hurt anything no also, i'm, I'm speaking of... fine I'll also you know speaking tomorrow. of putting a muzzle on me they call on on no. Golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You looking at me? Oh, hi. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. What? Why? What happened? Don't do that. Hey, oh, hey stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm going to put a goddamn collar on you. You could try. <laughs> by the way, let me tell you That's something with I'm just going to give you sheet. a heads up, by the way. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna give uh, you a heads up with Colton because I did something very similar, but not to what you just did. He was already annoyed with me by one episode that I kind of just swear too much, and he was annoyed. Just remember that he loses the motivation to edit at that point. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Our editors really do a lot of much good, great work. Very, it's, okay I mean, yeah, for it's, it's okay to it's okay for it to slip here and there, but I'm saying you got to give him space. <laughs> Colton, just put like random like Sims One speaking while he's doing that whole part. It'll be fine. <laughs> Papa, love you, Colton. <laughs> <laughs> he's still mad at you. you, you mean... We appreciate. <laughs> I know he's mad. Just give me the longest beep or sheep ba ever. <laughs> yeah, just get the mean goat. <laughs> that just screams. Yeah, totally <laughs> that will work. The screaming goat. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself in trouble, I swear. Alright, anyways, but I still have no plans for New Year's, because I originally thought you were gonna come to hang out with me and Colton. You, because, but then things happened, I think. Yeah, it work happened, and I'm tired of my work, honestly. <laughs> but we didn't because that that'd be a long hour of conversation about that, but... What were we talking the... about? I completely lost track. No, 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 we, we were at. still... No, no, I'm I'm keeping track. It's just that we were on the questions of what's the, what are our plans for Christmas and, and the holidays, and I'm just finishing it because I never finished what I need to say for New Year's. But uh, it was on to the next question, which I was going to ask of, well, what's your fond past memories of the holidays? And let's start off with Dream. Go ahead. I think one of my strongest childhood memories is going to my grandmother for a family gathering for Christmas and having all the grandkids just sit on the um, wooden stairways and just like staircase and just eat our dinners together while the adults were at the dinner table because we didn't we wanted to be in the stairs because we could be all together and that's probably one of my strongest memories but that comes back like 20 years ago. Okay. Fun. With me, uh, there was a place that me and my family went to, which was called Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Now, if you guys never heard of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, uh, it is one of the most fun places that you can go to in terms of a holiday getaway with your family or your friends. It's a place that I do re recommend anybody travel because you try travel too and try it because there's a lot of variety of what goes on there. I can tell you a lot of things. There's a uh, they got a cool thing called. Ooh, they have a cool thing called a, a lot of. They have go kart tracks, and they're different. Oh, those are fun. They're different tracks, but some of them actually go up, like up on top of things and go down. And then and there is one track that is my favorite one. It doesn't have a lot of track compared to the other ones, but it is the fastest one. It, you can go up to fifty miles per hour, and, and it, what's so cool about it is that you slide, you drift. Not the other ones don't Wait. do that. Is that Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge? Because they're both like Gatlinburg. close to each other. Wait, wh I mean, what's I'm, 50... I've been there plenty of times too. I went up there every year with my family as a kid. What's what's uh, miles per hour? 
What unit? Fifty is miles that? per oh, hour. Yeah, you're, you're, that's right. You're Canadian. That's like I don't know. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Use Let me actual th- units of measurement. We don't use kilometers. Like no, we're American. Uses metric. <laughs> we're American. Yeah, okay. No, we okay. Fifty we miles don't per hour. We the rest of the world. We obey ourselves. <laughs> Freedom uh, units. Yeah, we like. Uh, so, yes. so what? What? So you got kilometers? You do yeah, by so ninety miles. Fifty miles 90. an hour would be about eighty, 80. kilometers an hour. Yeah, eighty kilometers. Eighty, eighty-five. Yes. Yeah. So that's pretty fast to you for a go kart. It is. It is pretty fast. <laughs> but anyways, there's also, but the the one thing that I have a great memory of is that there's a there's a couple of things. Uh, Wonderworks, but there is pretty much a Wonderworks any kind of vacation spot. Wonderworks is basically like it's like an upside down building that's tilted and it has it's a whole illusion place. Woo. And I love that. And that's actually one of my great. That I actually like that better because I like that kind of stuff. There's also the other thing is like if you can gather your friends or your family, you can go rent a cabin for a week in the mountains and you can see all the snow on the mountains uh the the only the only intimidating part about living in the cabin in the mountains is that there is you're going uphill during a snow day what why you got that mallet mm, why are you looking at the microphone for <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i was just curious <laughs> <laughs> what? Here, what? What were you doing with the microphone? He was looking at nothing. He was looking at like it was, I was a nice. Doing nothing. Long, what does it taste like? Does it taste brand new? Popsicle. Does it taste? Does it smell it like Best Buy? It doesn't not it's taste like, like Canadian Buy? bacon. I can What's tell you Best that. Best Buy tastes like. <laughs> Thank you. You know that Best Buy smell? You know that Best Buy brand new. <laughs> You, you yeah. ever went to a Best Buy and just it smells brand new in there, full of technology? That's what it probably it tastes. It smells like. like China electronics. Not everything in Best Buy is made from China. I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like disappointment. Hey, you can't laugh at others if you cannot laugh at yourself. I've always said that. Always said that. So if you're saying everything is t- if everything is built in China, so this tastes like a Chinese buffet. You can also say that VR chat was also made by the Chinese, if that's the case. You also use an app from that was made from China that's called TikTok. I mean, yes. Ooh, to be fair, is. though, I, I, mean, I do feel like most things in Best Buy probably were made in China, let's be honest. Let's just be fair. Stuff from Japan. Like, at least 90%. Panasonic. Panasonic is made in Japan. Really good stuff. They make good security okay, excuse cameras, me. too. Like, sem- They're expensive, they they work. 70 percent of stuff in Best Buy is probably made in China. But then you got the American mm. stuff like Like nothing. <laughs> did, you have, yeah, did you have a brain fart there for a moment? <laughs> I was just saying no, PlayStation like... PlayStation is Japan. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, so I we mean, wanted to know speakers. what was your what was your uh like fondest memory in the holidays? We didn't get that to you yet. And that's a very good question. Most of my holidays actually belt yeah. Almost every Every year in my holidays, I just went to my grandparents' house with my, the rest of my family and just pretty much have dinner, help cook you, spend time is with your them. Family, is your grandparents kind of like off the grid? Then, uh, no, surprisingly, they actually live in the ghetto. Which is interesting. interesting. <laughs> but no, they've never had any issues, though, honestly, where they live at. But we, every year, pretty much have went there. Just go there, cook food, cook food at our house, bring it over there, and have like uh, Jesus like final <laughs> gathering <laughs> length table for how much food what we are have. You looking at stream? Not nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Not up. No. He was looking like was like he was looking at me like this. What? He was looking for what something. Trying to look for that treasure. He's looking for that treasure. No. Those are pretty sick. You've been going to the gym, right? Huh? My legs? Oh, hell me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes Dude, you're I'm talking to both people who do. I'm just provoking <laughs> yes, you right now. <laughs> <laughs> he went today. Good, good leg. <laughs> yeah, but oh, um, what else? Okay, so we have your input on that. So I guess my next question would be... Uh, Holly Dre, you got any holiday traditions with among your friends that you do? Ugh. Uh, oh, we don't really again. have. I, we don't really have oh. traditions <laughs> upon 
among my friends, but we do have transition in my family, though. Trans- and every year... Transition. Yeah. Well, uh, is is that a next question? Because I'm going to skip otherwise. That like is the next in the family. Question. Yeah. Okay. okay so, so I don't have yeah. any traditions with my friends, so I'll 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 give it to Whiplash for the next one. I don't either. So you, yes. this is you now. Oh, uh, you don't either. Oh well. No, you have the spotlight, sir. Continue on. No, I'm saying you both don't do any. I mean, I can understand you. No, you don't do anything with friends. Uh, no. No, it was always with the family. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I've only been doing it for like the past few years, though. But. Yes, I mean, all we really do is just get together, just chill out like we normally do, but we just stay together at one house, cook dinner, and just sit there, we get, we just drink, and we watch, like, a bad movie. We just sit at the, <laughs> we just sit in the living room, we just watch the worst movie we possibly can think of. Like, uh, <laughs> I got one for you. What's that? I have a movie, you sh- The Room, with Tommy Wiseau. Oh, Wazzo. God, I've seen The Room. God, I've seen the room. I mean, thing is, that's bad, but in a good way. It's a I'm talking about like classic. bad, bad. <laughs> I'm talking like bad though, like, like God, what movie is it we're gonna watch this year? I can't remember what it is. It's like, um, it's sort of like a religious movie. I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's pretty bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's dark. And then the, I guess the Don't next question is, is um, sure. plans for New Year's at this point. And to be honest with you, I don't really have a plan for that either because you decided not to show up. Now I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> just I actually do have what, a plan uh, for New Year's. God, who is it? What's her name? Saliva. Would, just do what Saliva would do. To click, click, boom. Fireworks. <laughs> uh, fireworks are illegal like... in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> They're illegal? You see Colton nodding? I mean, yeah, you're from there. I forgot. Oh, wait, you're from New I'm York. Not, I'm not nodding. We're talking in the backstage. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, hey, isn't Why fireworks are you illegal in Maryland? About spreading <laughs> about us? Yeah, I know what you're doing. Yeah, Colton, you're spreading misinformation about us, or are you talking... No, oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, okay, hey, just not to this question, Daddy Colton. Issues? Daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> is it illegal to have fireworks in Maryland? Nod your head. Yes or no? I think he barely nodded. Yeah, it's it probably. <clears throat> but didn't probably. Move. It, it, it's like near DC. <laughs> probably. Fair enough. We don't want to. We don't want to have to alarm the politicians right next door to us because you know how they feel. But he's trying to get them. They're so paranoid about everything. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe the South is just different when it comes to fireworks. I mean, oh, yeah, I'm sure they're not illegal totally in Tennessee. Different. No, they're yeah, not. Yeah, like I said, Alabama. I mean, like I said, Alabama. Good stuff. Get the good stuff. Okay, here's a good one that maybe you guys can answer. Stream, what is your New Year's resolution? Oh, God. Uh, my God, I didn't even think about that. Uh, so my general way of seeing is for a new year's resolution, you should never give yourself like massive challenges, like give, like, like lose 50 pounds or do stuff. You should always do small objectives, things that are actually achievable because that way you won't be discouraged from doing them. What I want to do this year. Oh God, I have absolutely no idea. Well, the thing is, is a healthy baby have a healthy baby well so i got yeah. news concerning that so our second oh, no. embryo transfer failed and we have one embryo left and today i got an email from a surrogate our surrogate mother saying that she's gonna bail as well she's leaving oh. she doesn't want to go for a third transfer so we gotta go through the whole process again find another surrogate but at the same time, my husband and I were, like, stacked in debt right now. So we're doing Airbnb and Mr. B&B to help, like, pay the rent. And hopefully within a year we find another surrogate. We should be back on the mar- market to find one. And by mm. the end of the year, like, next year, we should be able to find another one and maybe get that child. But, oh well. But, um... Hey, you still, there's still a lot of time. Well, yeah, there's plenty well, of time. I think... Yeah, there's plenty of time. Um, probably my New Year's resolution is gonna be 
stay true to myself and try to be a better person because life with little curve ball, uh, curve balls at you and mm-hmm. I've always had the value of trying to be constantly improving myself finding new challenges to work on and I just keep doing that I just don't know what I'm going to work on but definitely mm-hmm. paying more attention uh, be a better listener would be definitely something I need to work on Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I would say <laughs> I have I have a New Year's resolution since I haven't been working out for a few months now. Uh, but that could be not because I didn't want to. It was more like I haven't really personally said this out loud on camera, but I was going through a lot of mental issues. And uh, I just needed to figure that out before I went back to it. Before, because, you know, when you have those moments of that mental issue, you kind of don't feel, like, motivated to do the hobbies you once did. But once I do go back to it, I am going to be cutting my fat percentage. I'll be a little bit more leaner, but also want to get bigger at the same time. So more muscle, just more leaner of the fat. Good. Even though that... that Okay, that, that might sound like a cliche choice, but the thing is, it's only a cliche cliche choice if you never worked out before, but I have, and this is the third time <laughs> I have, like, throughout my two to three years of doing it. So, <laughs> which is understandable. Honestly, I've been kind of, like, falling back on it. And I've been eating too much junk food lately. I need to actually stop eating as much junk food. So once Christmas is done with, I'm going to, like, get back on track. I've been going to the gym, like, regularly, but I've been eating a lot more worse foods than you're supposed to eat. So I need to get off that track. It's okay to eat these things on, like, on a special occasion. That doesn't bother me. That that never bothers me. Mine's almost every day now. (laughs) So, yeah... Yeah, I need to stop eating so much fattening foods. I was gonna say my resolution is gonna go. This is biased from what Arkadad just said because mine is a lot of big things I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a better job, which I've been doing lately, and hopefully it's gonna happen soon. Two is moving to Colorado sometime next year, which I'm looking at summertime hmm. in either July or August. Three. Be more active on social media as much as I can be, because at the moment it's been like, it's been like at a steady, steady pace. It hasn't been like I used to be. So I'm gonna try and change up a lot of things next year. Hopefully, you be I'm a better also, person too. I wanted, to, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I need to get more active on my TikTok account and actually playing, got doing things with you guys, doing mashups like we used to. Because every time, either you whiplashing me or even I'm about to do some things with stream it always ends up well it does mm. Our stream why don't we do something together yeah we I'd can all to. do we, we can all do three Wait, things I together to do, I, yeah, I, I had a lot of videos i wanted to do i kept the, i kept on like doing follow-ups with you <laughs> then i just lost track that's because like, you caught me at a bad moment oh <laughs> uh, yeah but uh but I have to work on that too. But yeah, we'll probably do some more matchups on TikToks together because apparently it does well every time we do things together. We should. I mean, just me—the fact that I freaking tripped on on my, I fall off my chair—that's probably gonna be something. <laughs> that's probably gonna. Yeah, you, you, as well. sir, you fell on my lap. Okay, I know you want something for Christmas, but dang, you didn't have to sit on my lap that way, <laughs> dude. I felt um, the chair tip over. I'm like, oh, I got it, I got it. Ah. Uh, no, <laughs> I just like fell. <laughs> I thought I was going to catch s- it. I, re- I have really good balance. That's the surprising <laughs> thing. I just wanted to send us UPS package. Oh boy, I can send you package for sure. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Get that special priority <laughs> shipping. You might be, you might be with UPS, but I have the, I have the FedEx Express. Oh, so you're going to lose my shit in five Express. days. Gotcha. <laughs> Actually, UPS hey, lose it? more things than... I don't know. FedEx lost $1,800 wheels for three weeks. I don't know how you can lose big boxes, but they did. So I put FedEx as the worst. <laughs> I don't know. It just happened. Sometimes it's UPS. Sometimes it's USPS. Sometimes it's FedEx. Sometimes it's DHL. It just happened. It's just random, I think, personally. I mean, here's the thing is, I can still, I can, okay, I, I can still Canada understand, 
I can understand small things because they're small, but when you have a stack this tall of like wheels, like in boxes, it's like, it's like <laughs> how do you lose that? Honestly, like how do you lose like freaking rims for a car? Unbelievable. Because because the label is usually missing. I used to work at these places, so dude. <laughs> I shipped out at some point. I shipped out. I bought my friend Conus Arcanine. Um, he loves toasted coconut marshmallow, and that's why I have like this prop right here. And that's basically like a bag that I bought at the dollar store. I scanned it and I made a 3D model of it. He loves those. And I actually made a box and I bought six bags and I shipped it to him. It was this big box, too. It was like about the size of a wheel rim. And they actually managed to. F- to f it up and ship it on the next door before him so he was like dude it says it's got shipped but i'm literally at my house and nobody came <laughs> so he was like what the hell that was usps by the way <laughs> dang anyway oh, yeah, today's yeah. question of the week uh let us know what from the audience what is your favorite or well, your holiday plans or resolution for the new year's and i'm gonna give us a second promo again subscribe to our channel to be notified for any video by clicking on the bell another thing is is that if you want to check more information out again check out the link tree which has all the information that you need from our ourselves personally and also the the telegram group also the discord group gives you a link to our server and our chat group if you do not look at these things whiplash is probably going to come to your house and steal your christmas presents with by replacing it with what something else sorry you getting a taste back there yeah yep okay my god i'm all over the goddamn place here go ahead i'm gonna steal your bad dragons (laughs) <laughs> Did you just spit out your drink? Mm-hmm. His mouth is stuffed with something. Oh my god, I almost spit my beer all over the freaking floor. <laughs> Sorry about that. Drinking on the job, huh? <laughs> I'm celebrating right now. <laughs> yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the only one in the crap. house who's drinking. So I'm I'm being right. responsible about it, of course. Only had one one drink. Okay, let's uh let's look back on twenty twenty two. What are your best memories, memories you wish to erase? Oh god. I can start off with this one. Wish to erase. Yeah, go ahead, because I'm I need to think about it. My my best memory I've ever had so far was actually meeting my partner this year. And I, I would say the worst memory <laughs> I had would probably be... I was kind of disappointed with my college semester. I, I ended up getting a... I ended up failing one class, but that, that's it. But I was kind of disappointed in that. But that's what happens when you have a strict professor. <laughs> and uh, also doesn't understand that, you know... <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> well, nobody is. But you know, exactly but to to be fair, like to anybody robot. who's going to college, don't be discouraged by failing one class. That happens to everybody. Mm. It is very true. I did too myself when I went to college. It's all it's usually because of the professor. Yeah, sometimes you just get a teacher that's um too strict. Or mm-hmm. has unrealistic expectations of what your work is. Even though you might put a lot of effort into it, they still give you maybe a C or a D for it. That is yeah. really discouraging, and I didn't want to deal with this person anymore, so I decided to, I'm going to retake it with, with another professor. Yeah, so never let anyone discourage you from doing anything. Oh, because don't obviously, let... that's usually... Let me go ahead. No, 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 you're having a wholesome moment. Go for it. Oh my god. Don't let anyone discourage you from doing what you want to do. Because being you is the best thing you could possibly be. So if you don't, especially if you're going to college, don't let that teacher discourage you from continuing to do what you want to do with your life. Because obviously if you have a passion for that subject, continue with it. Just find a different professor. (laughs) 
Because obviously thing is, the they class had, that I did fail was not even my major. It was just a general ed class that I did not like at all. It could have ended up better. You know what the sad part is, is that my parent, my mother, and my my advisor tell me this is the easiest class. And then I was like, oh, really? Jesus <laughs> Christ. I mean, I've been having wholesome moments on TikTok. I want you to have one as well. I love what you were saying. Fun. I was paying attention fully. I know I've been fiction. You, you could have just left it. I'm sorry. There in fiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Wholesome moments over now. Wholesome over. Okay, I'll say this though. <laughs> <laughs> just because I did fail that class does not mean I gave up. Okay, I just want a different teacher this time. Yeah, just don't give up on your what you want to do with your life, because obviously you'll run into some bumpy roads, but you always will find the correct path that is newly paved. Mm. Newly paved, yes. Never let anyone tell you what to do. You're in control of your own destiny, and don't let even a teacher tell you, like, you can't do this. That's not possible. No. Believe in yeah. yourself. You can do this. And mm -hmm. the most also, benign, uh, benign thing... I will say this. The same thing I will say with your job. If your job tries to expect too much of you, do look for another job first, but then quit that job. And then they'll know. <laughs> and then when you're gone and they realize how much of a good worker you were, just don't ever give them any attention. Ah, yeah, that's exactly what yeah. I did when I changed company for security systems. <laughs> Exactly oh, I can't I wait to so, leave my current job. Oh god, I'm gonna be so I'm glad happy. I did the search. Yeah. I can tell you that. I'm really glad I did. Love my new I'm work. gonna walk into <laughs> I'm gonna be walking into my supervisor's office doing the electric swing and be like two 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 weeks and two 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 weeks oh, and no. <laughs> also I'm going I to wanted to happy. say about the whole thing about you don't have to listen to what people tell you and you can decide your own future. That also means that you don't have to listen to this guy over here. What? What? He, he he might be a big guy, Me? but you know, don't let him intimidate you. <laughs> Me? What? Huh? Oh, what? you know what? You him. made that sound Me? so bad. You made that sound so bad. <laughs> you making it sound what like do don't do? listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> what what do do you do? <laughs> You're making what it sound do? like don't listen to him. Just don't. You're not even letting me to explain. <laughs> you just keep said, saying right? that. You're not even letting me explain it. Finn, okay, finish it. Finish it. Please tell because me this how boy this right here. Better. You don't have to listen to this boy right here because I know what you do. I know what you do. You steal a lot of people's what candy in their stocking. Oh, oh yeah, yes. <laughs> okay, so, so worried. Yes. <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? He didn't even let me finish. You guys are already jumping the gun before I even finish what I needed to no, say. But, no, but I will give you head pats in exchange, though. I know a lot of people, they want also, that. Also, I'll yeah. also look say at my Twitter thing. DMs. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see my oh, DMs no. up there. I will say another thing that do not discourage yourself from. If you're dealing with transitioning from either male to female, female to male, or being bisexual, gay, or whatever your preferences may be, never let anyone discourage you from being who you want to be. Because that's what discouraged me from ever telling my parents that I was bi until tonight. Uh, and I always thought pretty well. I always well thought you. like the worst of it, honestly, because of the way my parents always talked about it. And it was definitely something off my shoulders. I, I can I can't really explain it more than just if you put two like fifty pound sandbags over your shoulders and then you just drop them. That's what it feels like. But it's unfortunately, I just had, I just had that worrisome moment that, like, you see sometimes with some furries, like their parents just mm -hmm. disown them or just kick them out. Now that doesn't happen to everyone. Most parents these days are very much they know the modern world and they know what's to expect of it. And so most parents are very, when it comes to situations like this, and more understanding. So if you ever feel that way. Don't, like, come up to them and, like, immediately talk about it. Kind of let the situation, find a situation you're in, and then just, like, ask them about it. Just, like, question, like, what if I was bi, or what if I was gay? If they're talking about someone else's son, or someone else they know that has a gay son, or... 
like a sister or daughter, just let that come up, because that's how it was with me tonight, and that's where I was able to finally get my emotions out. I would say well, that was probably your greatest memory this stuff. year. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a good memory. Probably, that's gonna probably be a good positive memory. I would think so. But yeah, the greatest... What? I mean, there I'm you go. flattered. <laughs> okay, so I would say the greatest memory for all of us as a whole is how this idea that we had for Top Dogs has become bigger than what we originally anticipated it to be <laughs> within a six months, which is insane to me. And, you know, we will continue to grow as time goes by, as long as, you know, we consistently do what we need to do. And who knows what we have plans for the future. Because there's a lot of ideas that we have discussed. That is a possibility, though. So. To be fair, I need to be... I need to talk with you guys more <laughs> about everything happening in the show. This podcast. That's one thing I need to get better with, too, for, like, a New Year's resolution is talk with you guys in the community, or in the uh, team chat some more. Because <laughs> I... Oh, I see. Pretty active. Yeah, Honestly. but like, discussing about stuff we do with the podcast, say at least. Oh, ideas. Like, yes. Ideas, the future of it, and, and stuff like that, because me and him talk about those kinds of things. I also talked to oh, Colton, but he keeps... But he keeps a realistic expectation for me to keep me grounded to make sure I don't go over my head. <laughs> well, that oh, that's okay just to bring too. up. I mean, that's just to bring up okay his uh, to family. Let's be honest. Oh, but dang! I'm, I'm not gonna say. I can't. I'm not gonna. Say, I'm not gonna. I can't remember what his like. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what his race is, so I'm not gonna say it to just uh, be wrong. He's but Filipino. His, his Filipino bring yeah. up. Let's be honest. Filipinos have some very strict bring ups. <laughs> Ain't that right? What? <laughs> don't you, den- I don't you say what I'm wrong? Don't you say I'm wrong? Don't you say Colton with... because I know most Filipino families. You're Good. I'm going to say because most know, Filipino why, families why you know I know Filipinos? Pretty bad. <laughs> why do you know Filipinos? Because you're in Florida? Florida? I have a lot of Filipino friends. Yes, very oh, okay, much so. Yes, one. very much so. Okay, that's why. <laughs> They because are very good they, boys. They, <laughs> they rule over South Florida. <laughs> <laughs> They're very, very good boys. You get headbutts. <laughs> Don't fall again. I would like. I would. I, I would. No, I, I would won't. imagine like if you sat down and then you just fall backwards again. So Instead I'm sideways. because my my play space has been reduced. Like it's my play space is massive, but I have a bunch of furniture that is covering like two-thirds of it, so I'm like, I gotta be careful. <laughs> okay, what did you want to say now about the question? The positive versus negative things that's been happening? <laughs> uh, positive is finding a surrogate mother for like a project to have a child, but it was followed by a bunch of negative things. And, um, which is she bailed, she decided to stop the journey with us today. Literally today, as we were recording, um, mm-hmm. she we tried. She tried two transfers and didn't work out. So she's worried that the third one is not going to work as well, which I understand, which is fine. Um, another bad memory is finding out that Thunder, my German Shepherd puppy that was seven months old, had badly formed kidneys and he was going to die. Probably the most difficult thing. I've, I'm still struggling with it. It's been three months, and now we have a new German Shepherd puppy. Uh, that that our breeder gave us because you know it's like oh well it's you know it's guarantee and he offered it i'm glad we have him jed is adorable but um it's it's a weird year i've i've had amazing like great things happening combined with massive bad thing happening i don't know how i get through this but i try it's to stay life, optimistic man. it's life yeah uh, it's like it is. a bunch of amazing things a bunch of horrible things and they happen at the same time like how do i feel about this i have absolutely no clue and it's it's weird feeling like i've never had so many bad thing and positive thing happen at the same time it's a weird year but i mean i would say I that life is life to me say, is like happens. the biggest lottery 
Yeah. I mean, nothing in life happens for no reason. Everything has a purpose. You might not understand it at first, but in time it will happen. And sometimes things are just not meant to be even though that's what you wanted and you got to accept that and just move on with it it's hard it's difficult but that's the way it is and it's probably teaching you a value that will be useful in maybe tomorrow a few months a few years even so i'm um, i try to stay optimistic this way okay last question i would say actually i wouldn't say this is the I guess the kind of the last question i would say uh Thoughts about season one of Top Dogs episode? And you guys have a favorite moment? Uh, what are you looking forward to the most of season two? And uh, stuff like that. I'll get to the other question. This is also the same question for later. But I would say my favorite moment so far is uh, the recent one that we had with a couple of weeks ago with his little accident that blew up on <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> That was funny. There's also uh, in the beginning, but there was also the this memory that we had in the beginning. That was also great. Where Conrad, with Conrad, yeah, it was connected Con- <laughs> at the wrong time. And this is the be- that was when we were starting off. And um, and by the way, we do wish Conrad, uh, you know, a great life too, because you know he still sticks around, and you know, possibly he maybe will come back on the show just for just one episode. That's just a great. A he's back. a very sweet guy. I asked you know, him a question uh, about this world, and he was really sweet about it. Seemed like a nice guy. Yeah. Oh, Conrad is. You know, he, I'm pretty sure he's told you, but he's moved down to South Florida now. I know that, right? Oh, yeah, I already know. How do you live in the South? How do you live in the South? Uh, impossible for me. Actually, I Southern Florida to is Colorado. actually not as Southern as people like to think it is. Dude, today it was 32 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It was zero degrees Celsius. I had to pass the snowblower because we had a massive uh, winter storm in Canada. And I was literally like using my snowblower with a t-shirt and my snow jacket fully open. Just mittens, no hats or anything. I was just like doing my thing. I spent like an hour outside. No problem. I was actually Mm. sweating. (laughs) I was actually sweating <laughs> in freezing temperature with and my jacket open on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I would also say to add on to the question because these are, you know, added on. And some and they in the question was to ask us like, you know, what are you looking forward to the most for season 2? And I would say, well, we have a lot more guests coming on the show that I wasn't expecting to probably have. And then because I would, that I would I would agree with that. I got I got to say too. I'm looking forward to the guests that uh, are going to be showing up for season two. And we have a little spe- a special project we're working on, and we just got somebody on the team to help me with that. So um, yeah, kind of. Well, be great. we'll give more gonna details about that later. That's still going to be a secret. The other thing was is that you know looking back when you first started on the podcast, do you see improvements? Oh yeah, definitely. There's been a whole lot more improvements. <laughs> Since we first started oh, with me and beginning? Whiplash. Yeah. Oh, there's been you so many be... more improvements. So, today was an exception. You need to be more on time. <laughs> you need to be more on I time. On... <laughs> I was on time last week. I was on yes, I you was were. Yeah, but it's only one, one time. <laughs> That's not the only time. Fair, fair enough. No. Okay, well... <laughs> no, no, he's been on time, like, uh, a few times. He was there before you. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> Yeah, see, fiction. No, but today you had a solid, valid reason for that. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's not an easy thing to do. Congrats, man! You could have taken an hour if you wanted. Would have totally I would say it was an hour and a half talk. So, <laughs> yeah, that was fair. And you know, the whole thing was that there was definitely some improvements, and we have not only just our input, you know, from where we started off from, but now we have a whole team of people that are making this all happen, and, you know, I want to personally thank you guys for making this idea for reality, and um, if you guys do see this near the end, uh, and we, and I hope you guys do, that it means a lot to me from the bottom of my heart for everything you did. You know, Stream didn't even have to come on here, but yeah, you did, so I personally thank you as well. Well, thank you for for having me I'm glad to be here. Yeah, this has been great, honestly, with you guys. Like honestly, yeah, I feel like I our it. bond has gotten a lot has gotten better from doing this. Even with Colin back there staring at <laughs> staring at us with his cute otter face the entire way in bio. Both of them always sit back there being cute. 
I love how he always has his harness with the sandal in the back. I just want to pick him up and just like. No, no, he just wants to be a suitcase. That's about all. <laughs> a suitcase. Yes, there you go. Okay, what about uh? Okay, I'll start with Street. What about you? What are you? What are your favorite moments so far that you had here? For season one, I gotta say, I gotta say, the <laughs> petty was a uh, that was a good one. That was funny. Um. I really enjoy our episode about self-esteem because I've gotten a few people that send me messages in my DMs on my Telegram, Twitter, and on my Discord. And, you yeah, okay? And I, I thought I was going to crash. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, no, not they, again. They actually <laughs> given me positive feedback on the episode, and they told me that they actually stopped the episode and to think about it. And, like, like think about like what was being said and to me like th- i want to help out so when i hear feedback from people like this from those wholesome episode it fuels me to keep on going and i love what i'm doing right now i'm glad to be part of the team i'm very passionate about it um so yeah i think mm-hmm. recording that episode about self-esteem is something i'm really proud of and if you haven't oh. done it please go watch it do yourself a service yeah. if you're struggling with self-esteem it's two parts it's two hours i know it's long but take the time do it because you never know what you're going to learn out of this mm-hmm. it is anything you're looking forward to with season two as well oh that project we're talking about and those guests oh yes i want to make a video with you guys too Actually, yeah, found, I could have found a potential i did probably find another potential guy to help you out with your project I don't know yet. Uh, I had to get back to my friend because he said he'll reach out to him to see if he's interested. Okay. And then we'll all come together and talk to him. Because we don't know yeah, him, so we have to be a little bit better, you know, with that. But anyways. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, Ew, my God, oh my God. What the hell? Put that away. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, no, no. That curse Marge Simpson is unacceptable. How dare you? If you guys want to see, if you guys want to see what what I just saw, by the guys, you have the permission to pull up in the camera very slowly. Come here, show them what we th- what I just saw. No, and Bryce oh, having wow, nightmares. Homie, you wow. wow! Oh god! Oh god! All that is beautiful, is there. beautiful <laughs> homie. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! Scream! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh. Fucking so <laughs> It's so disturbing. Yeah, okay. So yeah, and then the last thing I wanted to ask you before we get off track with that creepy thing. Sorry, that just threw me off guard. I was like, that's something from a bad creepy pasta right there. So yeah, anyway, having a laugh right now. God damn. Yeah, I can see it by some of this value language. <laughs> but look so at disappointed. And the sad part is, is that I can hear him. Oh, I can no. hear Colton in his in the next room laughing his butt off, and I can hear everybody else. Uh huh. <laughs> Looking back, okay. So hold on. So I want to get this done because we just we did do a lot of time yeah, on this. So looking back. So looking back, when you first started Ooh. on the podcast, do you see any improvements, stream? Oh yes. I mean, our production team is really good. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Me just speaking without stumbling on my words has been better. Just having conversation, thinking about what I'm saying has been better. I still struggle sometimes. Um, mm-hmm. our editors that are making videos for TikTok too, that's a really good thing That I, I really believe that's going to help us out um, yeah. spread the word reach out as many people, help them out if we can, you know oh, yeah and then, uh, okay, now it's Whiplash's turn uh, what was your favorite moment on season one? can you see all of it? Just to be fair, coming on here every <laughs> week has just been just fun doing it, honestly. So I feel like every episode is a good memory, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kind of agree with that statement. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, to be anything... fair, yes, you can have some really funny like moments like what Stream did or what Conrad did at the beginning, but you make memories by doing each episode. Mm-hmm. To be honest. You're living in the moment, so to speak. Yeah. And enjoy okay. every moment, honestly, doing this. What, anything Ooh. you're looking forward to for season two? Oh, yeah. Anything yeah. you probably want to do? Any idea yeah, that you might want? Those are some ideas I'm going to think of. I'm pretty sure I can think of something, honestly. Sure, me and Stream can think of something to do. Hell yeah. 
Okay, looking back at where we started, do you believe there has been also improvements? Oh, God, yeah. From the very beginning to now, hell yeah. There's been so much improvement. Our, definitely our audio improved. <laughs> that was the one thing. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Those days. <laughs> sure, Colton knows too, because he had fun doing that. <laughs> All the audio but, preparation that we had to do. Yeah, we were in the first few episodes, world. we, uh... What was it, the first episode or two, we were doing our own recordings on uh, OBS and sending it to Colton? Yeah, that was, was right. That yeah, we did that for like two episodes or three. I forgot about and, that. And then Colton's like, all right, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Because the first time I did it, I had mine on, like, the best quality. So my, my, my hour awesome clip awesome. was, was like, oh, almost God, 90 yes. gigabytes. <laughs> Colton's like, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, that's a bit excessive, my friend. You need a it bigger is. hard drive, and you yeah, probably my need 10 terabytes. Yeah, so mm-hmm. the way we do now is the best way, honestly. Yeah, which is, uh, if anybody wants to do any cool camera corners with a group, we learned that it's better to have one cameraman and have you can position at certain angles. Instead of just having everybody do it. It's it's more stressful. It takes up a lot more space for a computer. It's just better if one person does it. Exactly. Bio is being a good boy right now, and I feel like giving him head pats. I don't know why. He's being adorable behind the camera. He is. <laughs> but anyways, you know we're gonna we're going to do it. Don't don't don't. Sh- no no no. <laughs> no. Okay, you have to stay back. Later, I'll give you head pats after the recording. Okay, I'll give you one head pat. Come here. One head pat. Good boy. Right. I'll give you more later. All right, go 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 go. Later later later. Shoo <laughs> shoo <laughs> shoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I just said shoot him like he was an actual. Oh, he was no. too adorable. I had to give him a head pat. God, <laughs> he was being too adorable. That's for sure. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, before we end today's episode, we will and we will be doing something, and uh, we're gonna be bringing on the team on here before we say goodbye. So you know, not everybody's gonna show up. We don't expect anybody to, but anybody who doesn't show up, we're going to name them off. So, uh, if you guys can wait a moment until we get everybody on here, we'll say our goodbyes for Season 1, and we'll begin. And then we'll see you guys in Season 2. So again, guys, remember to join, go to our link tree, and come to our Discord community chat and our Telegram community chat to talk with us whenever you want to. Ma. And this is actually some of our team members here. As you may know, this is a Scorchy. He is one of our, our DevOps guys. And BioGuts is one of our producers. Colton is obviously our operations Hello. manager's ah. producer. And almost everything you can top off yes, as well. Dalgan Panther is also one of our video editors. And there's obviously a whole lot more people that unfortunately cannot make it today. But we'll name them off. So go ahead, Colton. <laughs> Yeah, so as Fiction said, I'm the operations lead for the podcast. And the people who are not able to make it today are Revenge and Bikindi are part of our community team. And then we have um, Andreas, Husko Andreas, who's part of our social media team. The loudest one here. And then a majority of our... (laughs) The loudest one absolutely can, you know, can do things (laughs) to the floor, which I will not name. Uh, People from our graphics and illustration team who make up the wonderful thumbnails and any of the graphics you see in the world, like the logo behind us. So we have um, Alas Cat and J-Ron. And our recent addition of Tovzilla, who will actually be helping us in Season 2. So you can that's something to look forward to as well. Sorry. It's funny, because I know Tov. And <laughs> part of our... And, or Tov, yeah. And part of our production team is also not here. Uh, Kofi and Cup of Otter. <laughs> Uh, we also have Blue and Dark Duchy. They are part of our production team. Blue and Dark Duchy are the primary TikTok editors. And then we have Colf as well, who will also be a social media editor for Season 2. So a lot, of, a lot of things to look forward to for Season 2 for you guys. So we're very excited. Yeah, we'll see you we guys also, in Season 2. <laughs> we also got uh, Duggan uh, for World Creation. Oh, yes. I said Duggan. Yep. Oh, you said him? Oh, okay. he's here. He's here. Yeah. He's here. That's he's right here. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, he's uh-huh. here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see you guys. Uh-huh. So yeah, we'll be gone for a few weeks, and we'll be back on January 18th, if I'm correct on that. And then that's what we'll begin our second season episode. So we'll see you guys till then. Until then, have a merry Christmas and a great New Year. Ten. We'll be back in the ten. Merry Christmas. Bye. We'll be back in the ten. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Well, that's gay.